Seen that on a number of occasions this season, and here at Meadowbank, the lovely sunny Meadowbank today on this fine Good Friday. Certainly going to be a good test for both sides. I'll quickly run you through both team lineups, starting with Dorking Wanderers. In goal, number 34, Dan Lincoln. Number two, Isaac Philpott. Number six, Noah McManus. Number seven, Jimmy Mewitt. Number nine, Jason Pryor. Number 11 and captain, James McShane. Number 12, Callum Kennedy. Number 17, Josh Taylor. Number 18, Luke Moore. Number 20, Dan Gallagher. And number 23, Wes Fogden. And the starting 11 for your Bluebirds this afternoon. In goal, the returning Will Henry. Number three, Danny Greenslade. Number four, Spencer Hamilton. Number five and skipper, Kieran Parcell. Number six, welcome back from injury, Will Richards. Number seven, Alfie Santos. Number nine, Jordan Young. Number 11, Alex Bray. Number 13, Joe Hanks. Number 14, Tom Mayhew. And number 19, Luke Russ. On the bench for the Bluebirds is Swindon Town Loney's Callum Winchcombe, Mo Dabray and Levi Francis. And then Chipman Town youngsters, number 12, Noah Coppin. And number 15, Kane Bradbury. Also makes him a pretty against Jason Pryor. And the ball is bounced all the way back in towards Will Henry in his goal. It was a good chance for Santos, but he was just closed down very quickly there as the ball's cleared by Henry and it's knocked down by Gallagher in towards Hamilton who heads up back in actually towards Gallagher who just looks to give Dorkin back the ball not play anything rash and McManus now knocks the ball back Greenslade puts some good pressure on and it's fallen back in towards the feet of Dan Gallagher under pressure by Jordan Young Gallagher does look, opt to go long and as Pryor's bundled down there by Kieran Parcel that's certainly going to be a battle to keep your ears out for in this match is, uh, is a missed header sorry was that Kieran Parcel that did, uh, did that yes it was against the number nine who's returning back from a shoulder blade injury today thank you very much to the 59 listeners we now have in into our MixLR chat we hope you're enjoying this commentary as the ball's fallen forwards the number 17 on the edge of the penalty and now it's poked through can't see exactly that is the ball's crossed in towards the box now Kieran Parcel hacks it away here goes Josh Taylor on the edge of the penalty area he's laid it off now this is number 12, Callum Kennedy is blocked and the ball's in the back of the net. Dorking Wanderers take the lead. Only five minutes into this match. I think it's the number 12, Callum Kennedy, who's going to claim it. It was a deflected effort. I'm not sure who it's gone in off of. Spent time will trying to rally the Chipman troops, but the first real chance of this match has certainly not gone against Chipman Town. Sorry, seven minutes into this game. Callum Kennedy's going to claim that one. Dorking Wanderers won. Chipman Town nil. I do apologise on that one, it is Jason Pryor who's going to claim that effort. I certainly Will Henry tried to scramble across his goal to get it. It was just a lovely bit of play on that far side. They moved it over towards the edge of the box. It was flicked on and I think it did land at the feet. Chester down turns inside again. Still got the ball glued to his feet and that's a long spray looking for Alfie Santos. And Spencer Hamilton might just about get there and poke it through to Alex Bray, which he does. Alex Bray might opt to look back for Spencer Hamilton, but Alex Bray's going to drive here at Dawkins. Gives it towards Spencer Hamilton. Is Hamilton going to take a touch? What's he doing with it? He's just going to play with it. Here's Luke Rust ops the ball into the box now, but it's cleared away. And the number 23, Wes Fogden, can hack it clear. Will Richards knocks it down, looking towards Luke Rust, who's challenged. And Joe Hanks flicks it back towards Luke Rust, who's played the ball. Looking towards Jordan Young. Is Jordan Young on side? Yes, he is. And he's just about kept the ball in play on that far side. He's by the byline. Spencer Hamilton's in space now. He dinks the ball across the box, but it's only falls to a Dorking player. As Chippenham can't just get into those opportunities. As Pryor wins the flick on only as far as Greenslade. And Mayhew now flicks it on towards Santos, who takes a nice touch and is beating his man already. Here's Joe Hanks chipping him, looking lively now. Look, what a great way to respond towards the goal. And Alex Bray's got it on this right hand side now. Joe Hanks is in the box if he can find him. Alex Bray making a trademark Alex Bray run and plays the ball across the box, but it's deflected by the number 12, Callum Kennedy. And Chippenham Sound will have the first corner in this match. I've just received a note through. So the Chippenham defenders have made the bay towards the box. The ball's in towards the far post. It's cleared away brilliantly there by Dan Lincoln before it could get on towards the head of Kieran Parcel, which really worked by the actual cricket player and Tom Mayhew's got it on the edge of the box now he's challenged and managed to win the ball back and it's fallen towards Joe Hanks who's going to have a shot deflected however by Jimmy Moy and here's Spencer Hamilton played it towards Jordan Young who's in an advanced opportunity but he just lashes at the effort was aiming forwards the near post of Dan Lincoln's goal but he just got it wrong and sliced it wide of Dan Lincoln's goal that's perhaps Chippenham's best shot of the match so far and it's fallen on the feet of Magic Man so far this season Jordan Young who's put it wide he's certainly be getting a lot more of those chances in this match but that's perhaps the second biggest chance of the game for Dorking Wanderers 
they were very unlucky to not take the lead, but it was just by Will Henry's goal as he was left stranded in no man's land as Will Richards now plays this ball forward, looking towards the corner and Luke Russ, and Luke Russ is flagged to be offside, even though he does manage to keep the ball in on that far side, the linesman on this near side flags the Chippenham number 19 offside. The ball still with Dorking in their central defence now as this played forward really well and really quick and Jason Price in an advanced opportunity he takes a touch lays it off for James McShane who shoots and James McShane who puts the ball in the back of the net disorganisation in the back again for Chippenham Town perhaps Jason Pry got a bit lucky with his footwork and it fell to the Dorking number 11 who with no hesitation buried the ball in towards the back of Will Henry's net and just before the 20 minute mark in this game Dorking Wanderers have a two goal lead here at Meadowbank so unlucky as the ball was just played in. Jason Pryor found himself with not much time. He had Kieran Parcel hassling all over the Dorking big man, but he just kind of got confused in his footwork, managed to somehow stab it through to James McShane, who put the ball into the back of the net from no less than really 11 yards. Luke Moore now. In towards James McShane, the second goal scorer for Dorking Wanderers. If you're just joining us, Dorking Wanderers currently lead Chippenham Town by two goals to nil. Thanks to two really scrappy goals from Callum Kennedy and James McShane. But the goal's goal at the end of the day and uh, McShane plays it in towards McManus on this left-hand side. And it's fallen towards the feet of the Dorking 23. But it's a firm challenge again by Will Richards and Chippenham playing it out on the edge of their own penalty area. That is dangerous, but they've just about got there and Greenslade can only clear as far as Luke Moore who knocks in towards the number 12, Kennedy. Plays it out towards Mill on this left-hand side. Still going with the ball. He's back up on his feet and he feels fine now as he's turned inside. There's cries of shoot from, a, I believe, a Mark White on the far side. But they opt to come back in towards Gallagher and goes all the way home. Back in towards his Dorking defence. The ball's going to come out towards Callum Kennedy. Yes, it does. And good play, good pressure from Alex Bray. And now Jordan Young's going to put pressure on Dan Lincoln with the ball at his feet. Who goes out on this right hand side looking for McManus? Oh, it's Danny Greenslade with a late challenge on McManus there. Both players jumped into the ball. McManus got the, to the ball first, and Greenslade is getting into a bit of a shoving match with, with of, of all people, Mark White. Mark White I went in for a shove on Greenslade as Greenslade was trying to have a word, and as Mark White again is really can't help but getting involved on this on that far side. I can't particularly see what's happening. So what happened there was a late challenge came in from Danny Greenslade. It was one of those ones where it was going out for a throw and both players jumped out for a header. Greenslade was just late on the scene, really. Not much he could do. And then as I believe it was McManus was on the floor, Danny Greenslade had some words to say to him. He was trying to go over and speak towards the Dorkin counterpart and Mark White was getting in the way and shoved Greenslade out of the way. The referee now, Stephen Parkinson, is going to have some words with both both players and managers now as it's all getting a bit heated as Dorking Wanderers know their pursuit for the title is getting ever closer and Chippenham Town know that their dreams potentially the playoffs are getting further and further away so there's a yellow card for uh, Mark White and there's going to be I believe what it seems to be a yellow card for Danny Greenslade as well so two yellow cards one for a, one for a manager one for a player Mark White booked and so Matt 36 minutes gone what do you think of this match so far do you think Chippenham could get themselves back into it uh, definitely yeah I think there's there's, there's, some, there's been a few good chances from Jordan Young so far and uh, also Alex Bray it's delivered in towards that box it's headed away by Chippenham Town Head it's only going to fall as far as Wes Fogden on this near hand side he's being put under pressure by Joe Hanks as Fogden can't help the ball from evading Joe Hanks as Santos has to let the ball run out for a Dorking corner. Oh, Dorking throwing as he can't get there. So apologies to interrupt there, Matt. Carry on. Right. So, uh, so yeah, basically, Jordan Young, I mean, he's had a few good chances so far. Alex Bray, very pace, very pace down the, down the right hand side, trying to get balls to the box to, you know, to get some goals, some goals to the team. But uh, yeah, I think so far it's just you know just trying to just you know balance out a bit and just trying to get used to. Gary and uh, what Matt Cupin sent to him. It's going to be a long throw in from Taylor. It's bouncing around all over the place. There's Dorking players all over the place. And the ball finds the back of the net. I think James McShane's at the double. And it's another calamitous mistake, really, from Chippenham Town. Just not being organised at the defence. And it's the time where Dorking Wanderers and their lethality will punish the Bluebirds. And it's happened three times in one half. I think it is James McShane who ran off in celebration for his second. Will Henry looks a bit distraught. There's nothing that he could have really done about it. 
It is James McShane who's been accredited over the PA system here. And it's now Dorking Wanderers 3, Chippenham Town nil. Simon Lawrence makes his way from the back of the Chippenham Town goal over towards this near side to speak towards a couple of the Chippenham spectators. And Dorking Wanderers absolutely jubilant as they know their title dreams can only ever... James McShane, who now plays the number 23, West Fogden in quickly. And Dorking have won the ball back and got themselves going forward very quickly. Here's the left winger who I believe is Nicky Wheeler. Plays the ball in towards the box. He's hacked away though by Luke Russ. And it falls to number 12, Callum Kennedy on this left-hand side who wins himself the throw-in. He's going to take it himself. Callum Kennedy who I believe has not been accredited the first goal. So Callum Kennedy, uh, Jason Pryor's stolen that one off of him. Uh, and then it's, uh, I do apologise for what I said earlier, James McShane does have the two, he has the second and the third, from what I believe. Throwing taken quickly by Dorking, and the two 11s challenge on that near side, and Alex Bray does get the best of his number 11 counterpart, James McShane, and Alex Bray looks down the line for Jordan Young, who's going to get there and challenge, and Jordan Young wins it, he's one-on-one -on -one with Luke Moore, Jordan Young's going to drive here, at Dan Lincoln, is he going to have the shot, but it's shanked from Jordan Young, it was really trademark Jordan Rung to drift in and out of the defender, he got the right side of Luke Moore, the experienced Luke Moore, got the right side of him, but it was just too far out to think about an effort and shanked it over the bar. That's the biggest attempt from either side in this second half. And really, if Chippenham, I think, wanted a point from this game, they needed to see that that hit the back of the net as Dorking voices on the right-hand side continue to grow as they know a 3-0 win is probably, or three goal win, or certainly three goals are certainly secured as Jason Pryor loses out on the header to Kieran Parcell and Luke Russ can only knock it as far as Wes Fogden and Mua on this right-hand side is going to look to drive at Danny Greenslade. Two players both on yellow cards. They're not want to commit to anything. Fogden plays it back in towards Gallagher. He plays a long ball on this left-hand side now. Out towards the number 12 of Kennedy. And he plays it quickly in towards Wheeler. The second Dorking substitution. And Moore is going to probably go all the way home. But he's given that away, Luke Moore. Only as far as Jordan Young. And Joe Hanks is one-on-one -on -one here. Joe Hanks making room on goal and finds the wide. Big, big chance for Chippenham Town. It was Luke Moore originally who played the ball almost across his own half. Jordan Young did so well to intercept. Had to find the run of Joe Hanks quickly and he did. Joe Hanks was under all sorts of pressure from both sides of the defenders. And he just had to almost hit that left footy from the edge of the penalty area. And it was so close to going in the back of the net. That is the biggest chance in this second half now. And it's fallen to Chippenham Town and Joe Hanks. But the ball goes wide. Dorking Wanderers 3, Chippenham Town nil. off the pitch and Kieran Parcell thinks it should also be a penalty I couldn't see it too well due to some obstructions here but it seemed to be that Gallagher is the one that slid in and did win the ball took Alex Bray out as well but did win the ball cleanly so no penalty drama so far this week unlike we did at Maidstone last week or against Maidstone as Dan Lincoln's taking his time with this goal kick it's a, it's a wasp in the commentary area buzzing around Dan Lincoln's taking his time with this. He eventually clears the ball, looking towards the head of Jason Pro, who flicks it on, and it's nearly onto the head of James McShane. And uh, it's, uh, here comes a player, and that's a clear penalty, surely, as the player goes down. The referee does not give it. It's fallen to Jimmy Mooin now. Well blocked and well saved. As Luke Moore is running over towards the referee, Dorking feel like they should have had a penalty kick. I, th I think you'd be a bit harsh to agree. Well, it's not a penalty kick. I'm not sure whether the referee played advantage. It seemed to be Kieran Parcel was late to a challenge and wiped out a Dorking player. And, and he's not given a penalty kick, has referee Stephen Parkinson. D Dorking 3 0 up, but still feel aggrieved. And I think certainly James McShane wants a chance to take his penalty for a hat trick. It's uh, some choice words from the um, Dorking fans behind the goal as they've not been given a penalty. They have been given a corner, however. I'm not sure who that is down to take it. Maybe Callum Kennedy. It's in there, ball going to be delivered, left footed in towards that penalty area, Will Henry holds. And might be able to give Alfie Santos a run on this left hand side as he plays long, looking forwards Jordan Young, who's nearly going to get there. Jordan Young is almost in behind for Chippenham Town, he's got the ball just right down in that corner now. But he lets it run out for a corner and in one swift motion Chippenham have gone from nearly conceding down one end. And Jordan Young takes his corner quickly, it's headed down towards that far post. And Joe Hanks couldn't quite get a severe enough connection on it. 
and it's on out for a goal kick. It was corner taken quickly there by Jordan Young as he saw Joe Hanks get there. It was 1,610 of pack. Taylor taking his time with this throw in. Still not taking it. Taylor launches it now, not long, opts for a short one. Taylor gets it back at his feet. Is the number 11 McShane, who's obviously on a hat trick. McShane puts it on his left. There's Rodari, but he's intercepted well by Hamilton. Chippenham are streaming forward in their droves right now. Hamilton looking for Jordan Young on this left hand side. He plays Mayhew really well. Mayhew still going. He looks for Jordan Young on the area. Jordan Young left footed strike. Just wide, just tipped wide, crucially by Dan Lincoln. I was right down the barrel of that effort. Jordan Young had it on his left foot. He was on the left side of the area, just tried to go for almost a dipping effort into that top corner. It wasn't quite struck cleanly, but Dan Lincoln gets a crucial touch on it to turn it wide. Jordan Young's going to have this corner on the far side. And it is going to be an in swinger. It's not going to be a quick one like we saw moments ago from him. Jordan Young, two arms in the air this time. He's going to deliver it in. Ball in towards that far post as well. Richards nearly touches it down. And it's cleared there by Dawkins Clay using the feet as Rodario can't quite get there. Alfie Santos turns really well with it. Oh, he sent his man there brilliantly. Here's Dan Griffiths. Inside Dan uh, Greenslade, sorry, not Dan Griffiths. Here's Alfie Santos knocks it in towards Spencer Hamilton now. And Chippenham still have the ball on this right-hand side. It's turned inside now. It's Alex Jordan Young, rather, fires it. And it's not spilled there by Dan Lincoln. Of course, trademark Jordan Young gets there. And Dark will get there. Alfie Santos has picked the ball up for Chippenham Town really well. As he looks to drift past Gallagher. Jordan Young still in there for Chippenham Town. Left-footed, blocked again. It's bouncing around all over the place. Hanks has to slash at it. And Chippenham can't get it away. Mayhew on the edge of the area. Saved by Dan Lincoln. Dan Lincoln, the man of the moment. Four Dorking Wanderers at the moment. He's had to make three or four successive saves. Dorking could not get their lines cleared. Jordan Young with an effort. Joe Hanks with an effort. Alfie Santos with an effort. And that most recent one was from the number 14, Tom Mayhew. In this match, it's just a few calamitous errors in the first half that have let Chippenham down today. And also a special mention to the number of fans that have made the trip today. We're really, or from all of us at the club, we really appreciate your support. And we especially appreciate the support of every single one of you that have tuned into the words of the chat as well. As Dan Lincoln takes this goal kick in what will surely be as we count down in towards, I believe, the final minute of this match. So 3-0 if you're just joining us. I'm sure, not sure why you'd just be joining us for the final moments, but if you are, it's 3-0 to Dorking Wanderers. All goals in the first half as Danny Greenslade gets there again and turns inside. Look for Noah Coppin. Tom Mayhew drives past his man. And there goes the final whistle here at Meadowbank. Full time here as we tick over. In towards the 94th minute, it's finished Dorking Wanderers 3, Chippenham Town nil. Tale of really a game that was finished with after the opening 30 minutes. It was goals from, I believe, Jake, what have been accredited to Jason Pryor and two from James, uh, James McShane that have been given. And Jordan Young there looks a bit disappointed with himself. Joe Hanks is leading his Chippenham contingent to go and support the Chippenham fans behind the goal who have made the long journey to Surrey today. Certainly not been a good Friday from a Chippenham point of view, but they'll take as much as they can in towards the game against Oxford on Monday. And luckily as well, if you're a Bluebirds fan, games around us have gone our way, certainly. So what I can see here in the league is that Bath have drawn nil-nil. Dulwich have managed to lose against Ebbsfleet. Hemel Hempstead have, have won by a goal to nil. Hungerford have lost by a goal to nil. St Albans have lost by three goals to nil. Down at the bottom against Chelmsford. And Billericay...